future one. So, so the the final craft will look very similar to this, but perhaps not exactly like this. How is this launch board system and crew module uh, simulator going to get to Kennedy? You, you can actually feel wind coming out of here, the, the air pressure. They must be cleaning something out. Well, we're here in the hangar at Langley right now, mm -hmm. and right out the back door here is the uh, Langley Air Force Base. Next Tuesday, we have these two trailers. We have a 70-foot trailer the launch board system's on, and a 50-foot trailer we'll place the crew module on. Mm -hmm. Both of those will be towed across, placed on a Air Force C-5 Galaxy, a very large aircraft and flown down on a two-hour trip down to Kennedy Space Center where it'll land at the shuttle landing facility. How is this going to be put on top of the Ares 1X rocket? Are you going to use the vehicle assembly building? Yes, we are. Vehicle assembly building is right within two miles of the shuttle landing facility. Mm -hmm. We tow the trailers into there and these components will join up with the upper stage simulator that was built at Glenn Research Center as well as the first stage that was uh, overseen by Marshall Space Flight Center and then avionics roll control system. Those will all be stacked up vertically to end up making this 321 foot tall rocket inside the, vert the vehicle assembly. Plant. The data that you're going to receive from this test flight, how is that making a better crew module launch board system that you will, I, I assume, do test flights for down the road? Some of the people who have done the initial research on this, done the wind tunnel tests and done other designs, they have requested sensors of particular type and particular placement on this. Mm -hmm. And so we have placed them where they, and worked with them to get it where they wanted them. Mm -hmm. And that data will be, will be uh, provided to them. They will check their analyses and use that, in, that knowledge in their future designs. Is there going to be any kind of test instruments loaded in there by the time it flies? Um, all the instrumentation we're using are, 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 are largely on the surface that mm -hmm. we see here. There are a couple that are measuring, for example, in the center acoustics, because mm -hmm. there's very large acoustic loads during launch. Mm -hmm. And um, the, all of the data recorders are actually further down in the vehicle. We have cabling that take all of the, the signals from these sensors and carry it down to lower into the vehicle. The plans, so if you will, the genesis of the uh, uh, CM 